what's up you guys ethers mystical child here coming to you with a pick a card hope all is well with you guys haven't done a reading for you guys in almost two weeks i've been busy behind the scenes but hope as well hope all is well with you guys and hopefully you've been chilling in the last two weeks you know haven't been kicking up too much dust if you're aquarius shout out to you guys it's your season so the title is what would they say to you if they were drunk Shout out to, like, Universal Dabs Tarot. I got the suggestion from him. Not the suggestion, but I got the um, idea from his channel, watching him. So, yeah, shout out to him. Um, shout out to all my subscribers, new and old. What's popping with you guys? And if you're some visitor and returning visitor, welcome and welcome back. So, we have three pals. This would be pound number one, pound number two, pound number three. Timestamp is going to be in the description box and message box. And I'll see you in pile number one. Pile one, if you pick this deck, this is your reading. Shout out to you guys. Hope all is well with you guys. Haven't done a reading for you almost two weeks. I've been busy behind the scenes. Hopefully you guys been productive and you've been doing well. The title is What would they say to you or what would they tell you if they were drunk so shout out to my subscribers what's popping with you new and old and visitors return visitors welcome and welcome back so we're going to see what this person say i don't know what's going to come out take with a plot leave the rest and yeah let's see what this person will say to you if they were drunk gatekeepers what would this person for power one say to them if they were drunk person say to power a lot of cars just came out of nowhere this one is second wow so let's get started. Set that there. So for starters, what this person would like to tell you is that they this person whoever we are reading for, this person have anxiety. They're having mental instabilities, they trapped up in their head for whatever chaos that happens with this five of cups. I mean this ten of cups. This could be a family member or somebody that you were dating and made children with, particularly two children with. Something happened here where this person is trapped in their head. Their mental, mental is turning on them. This person, for some of them, they can't eat or they can't sleep. And as well as that, whatever they have done to you, they don't like to look in they they don't like to look at themselves in a the mirror because they see how how they dark or toxic thoughts came into this situation and disturbed the situation. You have the world and you have the seven of wands. Somebody here is blocking himself away from um, whoever this person is that's drunk. It's like you guys are now blocking yourself from them. You're closing the cycle out on them. Everything you needed to learn from them, you have learned from them, it seems. So they would say that they don't want you to block off yourself to them. They don't want you to close off yourself to them and isolate yourself. Some of you guys are probably into yoga or meditating. Hold on. Okay, Power One, I'm back. Um, these were the three cards that was on the side that I was going to look at after the fact, but I put it in a whole reading. Now, what I realized in this reading, there's one, two, three, four five major arcanas out of nine cards so whatever relationship that this is either you walked away from this person or if you still talk to this person your relationship would never be the same i'm telling you this about the relationship but i'm gonna get to what they will tell you if they were drunk you will never be the same after this um you've closed out a lot of um comic cycles with this person you've learned a lot 
in this relationship, whatever relationship, whatever relationship this is, with the rebirth here, with the death and the rebirth here, and then the devil here, this relationship, this person was very toxic, so toxic that you had to like really go close this cycle out, learn all that you've learned with the world, heal yourself, close off whatever, so what I'm basically saying, whatever person you were when you was dealing with this person, that person has died, you are no longer that person, so this person with this hermit energy and this devil and this high priestess, there's strong um, Virgo and Pisces energy here, somebody has done a lot of self-reflecting within, within themselves, with this hermit energy, looking at this devil behavior, how they like to ment ment mentally manipulate people and keep people trapped and bound mentally, trying to control their brain mentally. What they would like to tell you is, <clears throat> if they was drunk, what they would like to tell you is, I'm going to have to clarify this, clarify this something before I tell you what I want to say. Hold on. Clarify this devil and what would confusion, yeah. Moon energy. So it's more um Piscean Cancer Scorp no not Scorpio. Pisces Cancer Capricorn and Virgo energy. The strong energy of that. So you guys either Pisces you either water sign or earth sign. So this person would like to tell you that they wish they didn't use this devil energy that they are bound because the devil is bound in a toxicity. A devil is normally a person that's ignorant, arrogant. They don't have no type of patience for anybody. They delve in whatever they want to delve in, which normally is their shadow side and their greed. They like to manipulate. They have a lot of vices and addiction. So this person would like to tell you that they wish that they never pushed you away from them. That led to the seven of wands where you are blocking themself, blocking yourself off from them. Some of them would like to also tell you that they wish they didn't cause any disharmony with this family because there's ten of cups in reverse here that there it, there's not happiness in this family if this relation if this was a person you like live with or a person that you made children with there's some type of issue here with money potentially for some of you guys this person could have taken money from you or left you in debt this person wish they never did that some of these people projected on you what they was doing out in the streets or wherever this occurred. They wish they never projected on you because it was them, the ones that was causing the confusion and the manipulation. Clarify this high priestess, what would they say? Chemistry and passion. That they still have chemistry and passion for you. Somebody here probably was ghosted by this person. Clarify this, you have karma, and then you have open to receive, and you have karma. This person is being beat by karma. They open to receive whatever you had to say to them at this point. Some of them were closed off with you. They didn't want to listen to you. They didn't want to hear what you had to say, but now they open to hearing it because they need you the freedom from their mental confusion because this person is really going through a lot of mental confusion. Clarify this death. What would they say? This fool over here crossing this confusion. It has change and courage. So they wish they had the, ch the courage to change and be with you. To change their toxic ways. Seems like some of you guys was telling this person about their toxic ways. They didn't want to hear about it. This person listened to their intuition when it came to your relationship. If it was a sexual relationship... They didn't listen to their intuition that this was a, a ordained relationship. They pushed you away. If this was family, they wish they never sold their soul to the dark side, basically. Clarify this Eight of Swords. What they wish they could tell, pal. With this Eight of Swords, they trying to, um, they trying to Avoid this eight of swords, this mental confliction with looking outwards, potentially partying with other people. This potentially this group that they was fighting against you with. Because some of you guys, this person was fighting against you. 
for the group of people because this is seven wands down here. With this death and rebirth, I wanted to say as well, this person wish they had the courage to change and not carry around the baggage that they're carrying around with this relationship to make this relationship work. Some of these people were hasty to just pick up and go wherever they thought that the grass was greener. This person wished they didn't do that. They wish they would appreciate it, you. Clarify this Knight of Wands. What they wish they... Yeah, their ego. It fell over here with the Eight of Swords with this mental confusion and the devil. Their ego. They wish they didn't have all this ego and, and, and pride and being so vain. Clarify this Ten of Cups. What they wish they could tell Pal One if they was drunk. They wish they took a leap of faith with you. They wish they took a leap of faith for you. They wish they didn't leave you by yourself, leave you isolated by yourself. If you have children, they wish they didn't leave you by yourself to have to def to fend for yourself. Clarify this devil. What this devil wish they could tell Pal One? If, or what would they tell Pal One if they was drunk? That's the actual title. Bad habits. The drugs is clarifying the devil. They wish they didn't have these these addictions and these bad habits and these this toxicity that they have. They wish they could get um, control of that. But this person is caught up in illusion. They're caught up in the grips of illusion and being beat by karma. What would is this it says I still don't have all the answers. This is I know you from somewhere. So some of you, they feel like it was a past life relationship. Now that they have some clarity in their head with this hermit energy. And this is what I'm clarifying with the hermit cards. Clarify this Virgo or this hermit. What they wish they could tell Pal One. Or what would they tell Pal One if they was drunk? I need more time. I'm telling you, anytime I need more time comes out for the Virgo card. It's like, it's crazy. Well, this one said, I need time for me. I didn't even see the bottom. The bottom say, I need more time. So this person wished that they didn't push you away. They wished that they would have spent more time with you. It says, let me hold you. This person wished that they never neglected you. Never turned their back on you. Some of you were ghosted from this person. Some of these, these people wish they never ghosted you. They was paying attention more to their partying and their drug addiction, a.k.a. this devil energy. And they, if they could tell you, they this is what they will tell you. Clarify this Knight of Wands. This person see you as somebody that's passionate. Very, very passionate. Look, <laughs> some of these people marry for money and they came over here with this devil in this confusion area. The devil, the confusion, the bad habits, the ego. This person's ego led them astray and now they're being beat by karma. Karma is balancing these scales and this is why you learned all you needed to learn with this person with the own world. What would this person tell Pal One if they was drunk? What would they tell Pal One if they was drunk? Twin Flame, you activated my soul to find my true purpose and destiny in life. You helped me heal in ways no one else could. Thank you for finding me again this time around. Yeah, when I said this was ordained, through the, I felt that for some of you guys, this relationship was an ordained relationship. And this person messed this relationship up. And this is what they wish they could tell you. I think you guys are this Knight of Wands, though, potentially. But in a way, I don't, because a Knight of Wands is somebody that's all about sex. They come and go. They're all about passion, all about being viral. They just, they... They do what they want to do for themselves. It's all about what they want to do. Let me see. Clarify this Knight of Wands. Hold on for a second. You have the Three of Pentacles in... It was in a reverse, but it's, I'll take it in the upright because... Well, let's see. It's in the upright. It fell in the upright. This person wish they never started working with other people. They wish some of them wish they would have never started talking to you because some of them secretly fell in love with you. Because with this passionate energy, it's like some of you, um, when they seen you, they had to have you. It's like you knocked them right, 
knock the socks right off of them because a knight of wands is somebody who's very passionate. Somebody's a free spirit, somebody that's like very could be very sexy and very like a like a very if it's a woman it's a sexual woman not to say she's sexual I like that if it's a man he's a very handsome sexy man just exude sexual energy so if you have gotten something from this like and you know, subscribe going off to pal two till next time in tarot land pal two if you pick this deck this is your reading shout out to you guys hope all is well with you guys being that I haven't done a reading for you like the last two weeks I've been pretty busy. And yeah, I've been like doing other things behind the scenes. So hopefully you guys been cooling and chilling. If you're Aquarius, shout out to you guys. It's your season. The title is What Will They T What Would They Tell You If They Was Drunk? Um, I don't know what's gonna come out. Take what apply and leave the rest. If you're a subscriber, no old what's popping with you. Visitors, welcome, return of visitors. Welcome back. So let's get right to it. What would they tell Pal 2 if they were drunk? What would they tell Pal 2? What would they tell Pal 2 if they were... Hold on for a second. What would they tell Pal to if they were drunk? What would they tell Pal to? Hold on for a second. Okay. What this person would tell you if they were drunk? This person is having mental anxiety and this energy is coming from Pal 1. Different decks, but this person is going through mental anxiety and it's being burdened. Some of them can't sleep. And if they sleep, they have to take pills or drink to get over this. Something happened with a, th a third party situation that caused you guys to move on. They crushed you and made you move on from them. Some of you guys could have had two children and had to um, move on from this person. It was very painful and hard for you to move on from this person. But this person wished that they had the balls to stop you from moving on from them. Because this person didn't want you to move on from them. This person will also tell you that they are now being beat by karma because of this situation. Somebody here can name it be Lindsay or Rodney or Rod or Shelly or Sharon, Charlotte, Anne, Annie. Yeah, but this is, um, the universe is balancing this by giving you a brand new beginning. With this ace of um pentacles, which yes, with this ace of pentacles, and they feel that they are being beat by karma. They feel like this is your justice, but this is their karma that you have walked away from them. This third party had something to do with this. Clarify this third party. What would they tell Pal Three? If they were drunk, what would they tell Pal? Yeah, Ace of Wands. Somebody could be named Lee. I mean, this is the yeah the Ace of Wands. Like I said, somebody here with a third party, some type of cheating or sexual type of situation happened here that forced you to move on from this person, to walk away from this person. This person was too too hasty out there, liking to pollinate a lot of trees, but now they in mental anxiety. This person is a type of person that had a, a, a web that they was weaving, because you have the web here, and anytime there's a web, it's always remind me of like what a wicked web we weave when once we try to deceive. So this person tried to deceive you when it came to a brand new relationship, or building a brand new relationship. And in all reality, it caused you to move on because this person was like too busy pollinating other trees with this third party, partying and drinking and smoking and doing whatever they was doing. Some of them don't, not all of them drink and smoke and all of that, but they definitely was with 
a third party. So let's start clarifying this. Clarify this third party, three of cups. Why is this three of cups here? What would they tell pal two if they was drinking? This person was fake flexing. Out partying, drinking, being with other people, trying to show that they have money, acting like they have more than what they have, presenting an image. This person wish they could, they would tell you that they wish they never was out there fake flexing and presenting the image. This person is now reflecting on this. Some of them are really going through this reflection because they're getting beat by karma right now. Clarify this karma. What would they tell pal two? If they was drunk, broke ass, fake flexing and broke ass, two cars came that says that they acting like they have something that they don't have. And this broke ass fell on this six of swords with you moving on. Some of them wish you never moved on from a mentality. Some of you moved on from taking care of this person, giving them money. Taking care of their habits or whatever you was giving them money for. Now this person is talking shit. Love triangle came out and they hooked. This is what they will tell you. And this all fell on this ace of cup right here over here. Now they talking shit. Because they hooked. But they also in this love triangle like I was just explaining with this three of cups right here. This person is caught in a third party. This person is going through illusions and deceptions as well, they would tell you. Clarify this eight of wands, what would they tell? They wish they never forced anything on you. For some of these people, they wish they never forced themselves on you. For some of them, I'm getting, just got a download for some of them. Some of them, whatever they did to you caused their personal, whatever. Okay, say for instance, they forced a relationship on you or they forced um, this like um, a love triangle on you or whatever. Whatever they did to you has caused they, they behind the scenes to crash and burn. Say for instance, they had uh, somebody at home they had children with, they were, had a family with. Whatever they did to you, karma, a part of their karma is having a life crash and burn. This is what they would tell you. It says cock blocking and queen rising. Some of them wish they was never trying to stifle you as well. Some of them was talking shit about, it says it here, talking shit about you. Some of them was trying to tarnish your name in the community and they wish they never did that. Because your gatekeepers, when they came after this person, they came after their money. And their mental health. Look, their creativity. When I said their mental health and their money. Their creativity steals your ideas, copies your work, duplicates, feed off of you. This person was an energy vampire as well. Um, let's see. I'll use this one. Clarified as justice, what would this person tell? You're lucky I'm with you. This person was secretly competing with you and didn't like you. They was hating on you. That's why I said the queen was rising. When I said the queen was rising and that other message, this person could, what is that, a Scorpio? Taurus came, but this on this side was Scorpio. That's why I said this is a Scorpio. Clarify the six of swords. What would this person tell? This person could be a Virgo. But this person is in reverse. This is like the hermit in reverse. A hermit in reverse is a, a person that's hiding and they lonely, but they searching without healing. This person is withdrawing themselves from people, some of them. What would they tell, pal? This person is a karmic lover. A Taurus came out again. That's twice. Strong Taurus here. This person is a distorted um, feminine karmic. This person is distorted. They are feminine karmic lover. Um, last message is clarify the six of swords. This person's spiritual um, ancestors have um, abandoned them. It says assistance from spiritual guides in reverse. Karma is beating this person and they tearing up their money. When it says fake flexing, the ancestors is beating them. Oh, I just got a download that this person... 
they, they secrets is being re um, revealed in the community and all of that. Clarify, um, this came out in power one, confusion. Whoever had rose, cla rose colored glasses on about this person, no longer. This person is being exposed. They will tell you this. Yeah, on the bottom is new beginnings. You guys having the new beginnings because you walking away. So, if you've gotten something from this, like, and or subscribe, going off to PAL 3. Till next time, take care. PAL 3, if you picked this up, this is your reading. Shout out to you guys. Hope all is well. Haven't done a reading in almost two weeks, so hopefully you guys been doing well in those last two weeks. The title is, What Would They Tell You If They Were Drunk? Subscribers, no, oh, it's popping. Visitors, welcome. Returning visitors, welcome back. I don't know what's going to come out, so let's get to it. Take what apply, leave the rest. What would they tell Pal 3 if they were drunk? I'm going to get your cards out and then I'm going to come back. Hold on. Okay, I have your cards out. So, so far what I have here, what they would tell you if they was drunk. This person would tell you that they wish some of you guys take what apply and leave the rest. Some of them wish that they didn't ghost you and move on from this relationship with this hangman and nine of cups. They wish they didn't turn their back on you. They wish that they was more reflective and looked at this relationship in a more positive way, in a positive light. Not so much in a party or sexual light because this person was looking at this relationship in a sexual light so far that I have gotten so far. There could be a Pisces here. This person could be a Pisces. This person with this Knight of Wands, all it was about is blowing hot and cold. They just want to come in and have sex. All it was about is they wand, as you can see. All it was about is they wand. And they mad that they was all about they wand. And that they they didn't try to come in and, and actually try to balance something with you. Not try to run in and out. Because check this out. This is a person minding their business. And this Knight of Wands is looking at this person that's the Nine of Cups, happy-go-lucky, have everything they need. Don't worry about nothing in life because they already built their stability in life. This person was the type of person that seemed like they were stalking you guys. And they came and they started to pursue you. And now this ended in deception because this Five of Wands here. Somehow this person was deceptive towards you, they betrayed you, they backstabbed you, they did all type of things they shouldn't have done to you. Some of them are starting to reflect on that, with that um, hangman energy. Also, some of them also, ha hold on for a second, hold on. This person also filled with this Eight of Cups and this Nine of Cups, that you are a person that is a person that doesn't really bother anybody. You like a happy-go-lucky person. You mind your business. You are an innocent person in this um in this in this situation, and they shouldn't have betrayed you the way they betrayed you. Clarify this, Hangman. Look at this. You have the Two of Cups in reverse. And then you have the Queen of Cups. You didn't deserve what they did to you. You are very loving, caring, intuitive, very, like, you're a mother. Your, your love is like a motherly type of love. This person used this relationship with this Two of Cups in reverse. They used this relationship as a, a relationship that was something that they could just find any day. You are a person that's quite priceless. Because you have the Queen of Cups and then you have the Hangman. It's a strong Pisces energy. Cancer Pisces energy. Yeah, you're very loving. And this person was deceptive towards you with this Two of Cups in reverse. Clarify this Two of Cups in reverse. And this person is heartbroken. They're heartbroken because... Okay, how can I say this? For some of you with this energy, some of this energy is bleeding through... That this was like an ordained relationship. If you see the two fish, you see she's clutching the, um, the, these are two, two angels clutching the, the, um, forget the vessel name, 
But this was like an ordained love for some of you. And with this person breaking your heart, it in turn broke their heart. But I'm thinking it was a delay for them when their heart was broken. When they broke your heart, this person probably was continuously going on like nothing was wrong. But now this person is reflecting with this hangman energy. This person is very heartbroken. This is what they will tell you. They betrayed you, but they betrayed themselves. With this five of swords and this three of swords equal eight of swords. This person is in mental anxiety about this. Some of them have a mental st an instability about this. About even give and take. They didn't want to give you. Some of them tried to treat you like you was less than. Like you was underneath them. And some of you were actually above them. The roles were reversed. Some of them was actually lower than you in this position. And you were the one that was like in the higher position. But you were a type of person that didn't have ego. So being that you didn't have ego and you're pretty humble. This person was able to treat you this way. They wish they never did that. Clarify this three of swords. What would they tell Kyle three? If they was drunk. This three. It says your light irritates their demons. Unbothered. This person tried to make you feel less than. Because like I said. Some of you were spiritual. And this was an ordained relationship. But this person didn't take it as they should have taken it. They didn't realize what this relationship was until it was too late. Some of you guys come from the islands where you like to be in the water. Or your strong water sign or earth sign. Clarify this um, knight of wands. What would this knight of wands tell power three if they were strong? Two cards keep coming out. Somebody could be 22 or you was born on the 22nd of any month this person is stalking you and it came out traveling so when I said some of you from the islands, some of you are from this from the islands or this person is definitely stalking you or some of you met this person while you was on on vacation this person have a lot of bad habits clarify this ace of wands two cards came out again this person is digging for dirt from you. I don't know. This is coming out from left field. But side note, some of you, this person is looking for dirt on you. Or you looking for dirt on them. And it has um, threatening, bothered, intimidating. Both of these cards have unbothered. This is unbothered. And this card is in reverse. And it's unbothered. But this person probably likes to play with guns. Have they pole. Somebody is haunted by this. I'm telling you this person going through mental anxiety behind this. Last messages. What would they tell pile three if they was drunk? That's three cards. They're obsessed. You are their favorite. They want you to have their kids and they need to heal. This is what they would tell you. Like and subscribe. Till next time.